गुड मॉर्निंग नेक्स्ट विल बी टेकिंग अप अवर विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सॉफ्टवेयर लायबिलिटी नाउ टुडे विल बी टेकिंग अप व्हाट आर द वेरियस फेलियर क्लासेस ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर लायबिलिटी प्लस विल बी लुकिंग एट द लायबिलिटी ग्रोथ मॉडल्स फर्स्टली लुकिंग एट द वेरियस फेलियर क्लासेस एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस आल्सो दैट आर रिलायबिलिटी विल डिपेंड अपॉन व्हाट टाइप ऑफ एरर इट इज इफ द एरर इज इज ऑफ ट्रांजिएंट टाइप then it won't back the reliability much but it is if it is of unrecoverable type then it will impact the software reliability in a large way so before taking up the various models of software reliability we'll be taking at the look at taking a look at the various cl- classes of failure first one is the transient class what is there with the transient class it in this the failures occurs only for certain inputs that means transient errors are those types of errors which only occur for certain input values this is known as transient type then we have permanent error permanent errors are for, are those failures permanent failures are those failures which occurs for all input values suppose there are many input uh, all the in, uh, input values are given and of our all the input value it results in a failure then it will be known as a permanent failure then there are recoverable failures now when a failure occur the system recovers with or without operator intervention then it is called recover- recoverable suppose a failure occurs then the system find the, the uh, system is able to recover without the help of uh, operator or with the help of operator then it is called recoverable errors then we have unrecoverable errors these are those types of errors which in in which we have to restart the system only then we can come out of those errors this is called unrecoverable errors then we have cosmetic errors okay these are simple errors which are just minor irritations okay they they do not lead to incorrect results suppose like you have clicked the mouse it has been clicked double times and it is causing the screen to be highlighted this is type of cosmetic error which won't affect your results in any way but these are just minor irritations in the system now clear these are the types of errors now we'll be taking a look at the various reliability growth mo- 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 models okay there are some of the models now there are very uncertainties about the reliability competition why there is there are uncertainties because there is lack of knowledge about how a system is to be used okay there might be lack of knowledge which makes a user incapable of finding out how a system is to be used that is the operational profile of the software product user might not be aware with the operational profile next is there might be lack of knowledge about the effect of fault removal as we have discussed previously that which type of fault has been removed that will be impacting the reliability in a large way like transient errors won't be impacting the reliability in much way but unrecoverable errors will be impacting the software reliability in a large way so lack of knowledge about what type of errors have been removed or what is the effect of that error on the software reliability that makes it uncertain for software reliability to be computed then we have some of the models that will be discussing that is uh, that will be taking up one is step function model this is the most important model the most basic model not the important one why this is basic because this is we'll be looking at the various models one is first one is step function model this is the most basic model why this is basic model this assumes that there is constant increase in reliability on with each fault removal on the uh, y axis where rate of occurrence of failure on the x axis we have time that mean after each error has been removed it will lead to increase in reliability by a constant error again error is removed it will lead to increase in reliability by constant amount but this is basic assumption as we have discussed all the errors are having a different impact on the software reliability so this cannot be considered as a practical application model because each error will be contributing differently to the reliability 
of a software so this is practically not used then we call uh, sec next model that we have jelinski and miranda model what is there with jelinski and miranda model in this what is done most of the probability failures these are discovered early during the testing phase now as the software is there we do the testing process and most of the probability errors are found during those testing processes and repairing faults early it contribute maximum to the reliability growth now as we can uh, were able to remove most of the errors by means of testing at the early phase then it will contribute maximum to the reliability growth in the beginning part but later on it will slow on clear so what is this with your jelinski and miranda model it will be different from the step function model here the most of the errors are discovered early in the testing phase and correspondingly the reliability will be maximum in the beginning phase but uh, later on it will slow on so this is all with the jelinski and miranda model then we have other type of model next model that will be taking for software reliability last one this is called little littlewood and viral model what is so special with littlewood and viral model this is considered to be a practical one that it allows for negative reliability growth in which what cases the negative reliability growth can be there if we try to remove one error that is removed but it will lead to another errors it will lead to another errors so this will result in a negative reliability growth which is modeled in this little wood and viral's model it models the fact that as errors are repaired the average improvement in reliability per repair decreases why it decreases because as we try to remove the errors it might lead to some other errors which will lead to the to the decrease in reliability uh, corresponding to per repair now this treat uh, this model is treats a corrected bugs contribution to reliability improvement as an independent random val variable that is the corrected bugs contribution to reliability is treated as a in, uh, independent random variable which is having a gamma distribution it will be following a gamma curve and after this it removes the errors with large contribution to reliability first as compared to the bugs with the smaller contribution so how the errors are removed the error which is leading to higher increase in reliability growth that is removed first as compared to errors with small contribution this is all this is all what is done in littlewood and viral's model so this is important as compared to the previous model as it takes into consideration the negative reliability growth there are some other models also which can be used but that is out of the scope of this book so will be book and our curriculum so will be taking up this letter up to letters and viral's model one other topic that is very important in this reliability modeling that is called statistical testing so what is there is statistical testing as with the previous testing we have found out this those testings were carried out to remove errors but the objective is somewhat different here the objective is to determine the reliability rather than the discovering the errors as we have done with the previous testing strategies clear so what is the purpose of statistical testing it is to use to determine the reliability of a software as rather than discovering the errors as was discussed in the previous in the previous testing strategies it uses data different from defect testing the data form and how it is to be used in statistical testing this is different from the conventional testing strategies then <coughs> it uh, designs the test cases based upon the users because different users have different operational profile what do you mean by operation different users have different operation profile that is the use the system in different way based upon the usage of the users the correspondingly that is on their pro operational profile the correspondingly the test cases are designed that is 
द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनपुट्स आर फाउंड बेस्ड ऑन द ऑपरेशनल प्रोफाइल दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द यूजेज ऑफ द डिफरेंट यूजेज ना दीज आर द वेरी स्टेप्स दैट इज यूज फॉर टेकिंग अप द स्टेटिस्टिकल टेस्टिंग फर्स्ट इज वी डिटामिन द ऑपरेशनल प्रोफाइल ऑफ ए सॉफ्टवेयर वट इज फर्स्ट है वी डिफाइन द ऑपरेशनल प्रोफाइल ऑफ ए सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द यूजेज ऑफ द यूजर द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंगली ऑपरेशन प्रोफाइल इज डिफाइंड इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी जनरेट द टेस्ट डाटा दैट इज वट इज द इनपुट्स विद विच द सॉफ्टवेयर इज टू बी टेस्टेड इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी अप्लाई द टेस्ट केसेस टू द प्रोग्राम द टेस्ट केसेस टू द प्रोग्राम आर अप्लाइड एंड वी रिकॉर्ड द एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम बिटवीन ईच फेलियर वी फाइंड द एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम बिटवीन ईच फेलियर and by using these parameters by means of some model we can compute the reliability there are certain matrices that were discussed for computing the reliability by ex- finding out the execution time between each failure the reliability will be computed so again this statistical testing this is very important from examination point of view so with this we are done with the software reliability we will be taking up some questions as an assignment you can write uh, note it down first is you are supposed to explain and discuss the various reliability models second one is discuss the various param- uh, parameters used in for software reliability next one is different uh, differentiate between software and hardware reliability by means of a curve this is all that is done there with the software reliability thank you